So here we go. Fifth ranked Notre Dame, 20th ranked Pittsburgh. Irish looking to win or draw and lock up the top seed for the ACC tournament. Panthers trying to improve their standing, but this 14 start as Pitt goes long with this one ahead for Joao Souza, who shoots just wide of Dowd, lunging out to his left. And no deflection from the Irish keeper, an immediate forward toward Enoento. About four wins the ball at the corner of the box. Trying to play it. Super big threat in the box. Just a really good team being physical in there. Burns, a touch on to Williams. Play through the opening eight minutes. Low swinging ball. Now it leaps high in the air, right at the penalty spot. O'Brien, stop and go. Now he shoots from the corner. A header from Ento goes over the top. What service that was from O'Brien. And ended up the middle for Rue, who cuts inside. You know, shields the ball out to about four, looking for the back post. On these goal kicks. But no, who just committed the foul, frees up the ball for Ento! <laughs> Tenth minute, and it's one nothing Irish. Right off the turnover, Eno Ento strikes his seventh of the year. I just finished talking about a disciplined press. There's your disciplined press. Bryce Bonneau locked a goal early and then scored three inside the final 20 minutes to secure a huge three. Radovoisa for Rue with some space. Chips it across. Williams still playing forward here as Gennenbacher's long throw. Knocked down by Burns. There's Ento again. His shot blocked as there's a massive body sprawled out in front. Now Rue, and again, seeking out service. Instead, it's Burns. He'll play toward the area. Goes through and end captaincy for this Panther side, and he's played a team high 1,247. Here they come with Souza controlling and playing a through ball perfectly across, and it's wide. Luis Samcow with one of the easier shots he will ever take, and he pulls it past the far post. That's remarkable. That was Pitt's best chance of the day by far, and it's a really well-worked chance. All credit to... And we can also report that Mercado is making his way into a dangerous area and a shot from Thorson. Freshman talent. Long cross. In possession as he finds Bafour out wide. Bafour, fancy footwork. He goes down by his own work. There they go, long ball down that left side. Chase down, but strong defense with now by four. Wins the ball back for Rue. Does he have his tenth of the year? Not quite. What a save from Cabral Carter. Can't see enough work about Carter to get down there. You know, and that, that's not an easy save to make. You know, I think maybe the shot looked like it was close to him, but to the speed that which he gets to the ground and forward for Rue. And again, Notre Dame offside. As the shot comes in on goal for Carter. This calls maybe for the amount of physicality we've seen. Sebastian Green in swinging corner right into the arms of Carter. These players know this is going to be a physical one. Again, the Irish move in. Sliding try and another goal. And there is the 10th for Matthew Rue. The heart hands in the air. We talked about he's usually clinical in front of goal. He got a second look at it, and he puts it away. In the sophomore midfielder. Cuts it back in. And played it around the feet. Burns. O'Brien trying a volley. He scored on one of those against Duke. And now another strip of the ball. Here comes Green, left footed try, and Carter scoops it up again. Boy, has he been tested in these first 45 minutes. Yeah, Notre Dame really turning it on. But no, out to Burns. He accelerates. Burns with a low shot, and Carter lays out to knock it aside. I think the senior captain wanted that one on senior night. Now Burns looking for a second chance. It falls right out in front, still bouncing around. Bicycle try, and now... O'Brien swings it off the bar. Heading to half, and three, see Beno telling the crowd to get one. on their feet and make more noise. O'Brien in disbelief there. That could not have come closer to being the perfect free kick. I think by Pitt to create the chance, they've got to finish that. So off the restart, Carter goes... Relevant information for AC. Seating information. KK back four goes with the left foot. Goal different comes into play, which Notre Dame at the moment is only increasing. And oh my, that could have been disastrous. Your chance for Notre Dame. Still in a dangerous position for the Irish. It's back behind them, including North Carolina tied with the Panthers. Back four, out to Burns, his low shot. Settled down by, no turns with it. 
one of the Panthers, Mayufo, lost his footing. That allows Green to seek out that four, who goes down, charging toward that service. The official says play on. Thurs. Zahir Dyke in from the left side, working against Genenbacher. Genenbacher. Nice ball. Mayufo, as it went around Genenbacher, Williams not. Mirkovic takes it. A header back toward goal, and there's. They've been working the ball from side to side so well here as Burns puts that one in. And what are doing in the booth? Williams looking for a header. Carter punches it away, but no will try out of the air, and that's in two. May have been deflected on the way. Notre Dame has three. And the Irish running away with it in the regular season finale. Looks like it's Enoento that's going to take the plaudits. I'm not sure if there was maybe deflection in front of that, but no, took the initial shot. But there was some pandemonium in the box. Four. Could Ento get a hat trick here? He's in the middle. There he is. Ento finishes. Hat trick for number nine, and Notre Dame has four. If there was any doubt about whether he connected with the first one, there's the emphasis on that one. Genenbacher putting the celebration up and everyone swarming in away from Ireland to come see this game as I hold that thought as Pitt comes forward. So is it out wide, flags up offside, and it's Feitosa on the run. Green trailing, he finds Dyke. And once again, offside. deep possessed, well done by Lewis. And so again, could he get a fourth? Yes! The night of a lifetime for Enoento. Four goals, and it's 5-0 Irish. And with one game, he's tied Rue at cop the season scores for Notre Dame. He entered this match three goals behind, and now they're equal. His 10th of the season is fourth on the game, the fifth for the Irish of the day. An explosion. Fine by Fetosa. An even better block from Ramsey. Panthers looking to keep. The cross shot almost all the way over the netting. He plays it short to Radovoisa. Rada Voice in for Rue. Carter punches it away. Notre Dame. Gennenbacher checking to make sure he stayed on side. He did. Throws the cross. And look at the quickness from Dyke. Playing it through. Dowd's going to have to make a play here. And he goals from a lot of different areas. And there's no Jacqueline on this team, but they're still getting goals regardless. Student section just below us. Salvino, McLaughlin, and Borso, Borso in here. Borso taking the shot. And it's six for Notre Dame. Borso just barely into the game. Has the goal, it's his first of the season. How about, how about that way to introduce yourself on the pitch? Dowd's all the way up, getting involved in the huddle. It's now in the 83rd minute, two goals apiece there. As Notre Dame again makes a move. To the senior sends that one over the top for Borso, back into the middle. Notre Dame draws the curtains on this regular season with a statement performance. 6-0 the final as the fifth-ranked Irish.